Hey guys, Tony here. Again, about halfway through with our 20 game review of every game on the Super NES Classic Edition coming out September 29th, 28th, okay, depending on when you're going to go wait for it. So wait in line, okay? So I hope you guys get one. I'm excited to do that for the channel. And I haven't done it in a long time, guys. So it's going to be an insane line. It'll be just insane to be there. So today, we are going to be talking about Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. Okay, a lot of fans just call it Yoshi's Island, but it's actually a sequel to Super Mario World 2. And this game, uh, I, I like it. It just, the baby Mario thing is just a little annoying, but it's still a really good game. Really fun game. I played it growing up. So guys, what I'll do is I'll share, is this worthy to be on the Super NES Classic Edition? I'll give my thoughts on it, some of my childhood memories, and that's it. Guys, subscribe to me if you have not. That's gonna put you in the running for Super NES Classic Edition. All you gotta do is subscribe to me. That's it. So guys, let's see how Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo is. So thanks for watching guys, let's check it out. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. This game, I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way. The graphics are awesome. Oh my gosh. You guys have no idea how mind blowing this was back in the day. They're gorgeous. They. They stand the test of time, in my opinion. They, oh man, it's kind of like Wind Waker on the GameCube. It doesn't look dated, it doesn't look old. And there's actually games that will try to imitate this still to this day. In my opinion, it's one of Nintendo's best works of art. And this was a uh, later release towards the end of the Super NES and its lifespan so they knew the ins and the outs the strengths and weaknesses of the super nintendo and this game pushed the hardware limits it's so gorgeous so gorgeous the soundtrack is amazing and yeah it, they do use the super fx chip i gotta i gotta say that too so that's gonna give it give it the extra boost and memory it's going to give it that better soundtrack and also better graphics. So, they did use that. Alright, so that's why it's so impressive. But still, you're running off a Super NES system. Now, let's just talk about my memories, get, them, get those out of the way. I don't have a whole lot as a kid. My buddy Dwight actually introduced this game to me. I was kind of a Super Mario World snob. If you will, that was like, man, that's the best Mario game of all time. Well, I still say that, but, 
But yeah, we'll get to that game, and I can't wait. Ooh, looking forward to it. And I, I did play it a lot as a kid. I, I did beat it. It's easy. It does get challenging later in, in the other stages. So there is progression. And I, I do like that early on you get to learn the ropes of the game. You get, you know, it has a very, very short tutorial. And that's perfect. Very, you know, perfect for this type of game. Now let's just go ahead and talk about gameplay and what I like too. So the gameplay, you are Yoshi. You're actually playing as all the Yoshis. The traditional green Yoshi. And your job is you want to get Mario to Luigi and you want to take care of Mario. If Mario gets hit, if you get hit rather, you lose baby Mario and he's super, super annoying going, hey, 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 <laughs> I hate that crap. And you have like a time limit to get him before one of uh, Bowser's minions comes and grabs him. That's the objective of the game. You got to keep baby Mario safe and get through the levels. Um, I also like the, uh, the egg mechanic. And that you can aim your eggs and shoot your enemies that way. It's a, that's pretty cool. That was new from Super Mario World 1 as Yoshi. Uh, Super Mario World 1, you just could swallow enemies. And you had some power-ups. Like if you swallowed certain shells. Like if you had a red shell, it would be fireballs. If you had a blue shell, you could fly. That kind of thing. I think the yellow one, you can stomp. Uh, which is my least favorite one. So, there are a lot of new mechanics here. Also, Yoshi can uh, kind of do a flutter float thingy. I do it a lot in this video, and I, I like that. Yoshi actually does that in the newer Yoshi games, and he also does it in Super Smash Brothers. And uh, pretty much all the Smash Brothers that he's in, which I think he's in all of them, if I'm not mistaken. And I also like that you can do the pound. I use, I don't use it as much in this video, but you can pound on your enemies. You can also just jump on enemies too. Um, now let's talk about the collectathons going on. You can collect the red coins. I believe there's 20 per stage, and then there's five like little daisy things you collect and then if you want to get a perfect score in the level you have to have 30 of those little star things you have to have 30 on your time limit and uh, it's hard to get 100% on all the levels and it, that helps with replayability if you're into collectathons this is the game for you because you got to do that with every single level in this game so well worth your time there's also a lot of different paths you can go, a lot of secrets, and uh, you can search high and low, that's what I like about it. And if you like you know, going different paths, that kind of thing, discovering things in games, you're going to like this. You see I'm kind of missing here. And that's one of those daisy things I was talking about that you collect. Um, I'll show you later in this video, Yoshi can actually transform. He can transform in, into different type of vehicles, and the, the footage I show you guys, he transforms into a helicopter, and that can get you to other areas that you can't normally get to as just Yoshi and Baby Mario. Um, other things that I like, I, I, like I said, the graphics are amazing, very beautiful, very colorful, the parallax scrolling is pretty good. And it's just kind of very cartoony. There's no other Super Nintendo game that looks like this game. And, uh, you know, Yoshi 64, Yoshi's Story tried to copy this and, in my opinion, did not match the charm of this game. There's also bonus stages. You'll see I'm actually going to go to a bonus stage here. And that's fun. There's a lot, there's some variety in this game than just your normal platforming and normal fare. You see here, every level has this. And I did not get all the coins or the stars in this level. And here's your bonus stage. 
And it's kind of like Mario 3, Super Mario World, those little bonus stages. Super Mario World, or Super Mario Brothers 2 had a bonus stage, too. So it's kind of keeping it in the same vein as that. Also, guys, the soundtrack... Oh, man, it, it, it gets stuck in my head for weeks. I'm This is probably going to be stuck in my head for a month. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Even after playing all these other games, this game has awesome music. It's different, and that's what I like about it. Now, there's there's tons of different kinds of levels. There's, you know, there's castle levels. There's normal levels here. So there's a good variety. Now, you'll see here, they're using mode 7 like crazy, which I love. There's a lot of stuff like this in this game. Things just jumping out of the background. You can see, I almost got hit there. So you gotta pay attention to the background too. You see, I'm collecting those red coins. It's kind of a you know Mario 64 thing. Now let's let's also just talk briefly. Where else can you play this game besides the Super Nintendo and Super NES Classic Edition? It's actually pretty easy to find, guys. Um, it's on the Virtual Console. You can download it there. It's also on uh, Game Boy Advance, and that's actually where I kind of played it the most. I played that uh, in high school and in college, and you can also find it on the DS. Uh, it's it's just a, kind of a remastered version, but it's the same game. And there's also a um, 3DS sequel to this that's worth your time. So there's plenty of ways to play this. Now let's talk. Now does this game belong on the Super NES Classic Edition? I yes, <laughs> yeah. This game is like a you know forty-five dollar game, and you're I'm transforming into that helicopter now. So that that's pretty cool. There's a little bit of variety to the gameplay every now and again to help mix it up and we're only on the second level of the game second stage so back to my thought does this belong in the Super NES Classic Edition? Yes um, this uh, like I said it's like a $45 game normally so that value alone is well worth your time to play it on the Super NES Classic Edition uh, along with you know like Earthbound and Final Fantasy 3 and Zelda, all those kind of pricey games that you would have to you know buy individually. It's just going to cost you an arm and a leg. Um, so yeah, it's worth it. That alone, and it's a fun game. What can I say? I mean, it's just fun. And for some reason, when I played this, I just man, I could not put it down. It was addictive, and it wasn't as addictive as Super Mario World One. I'll say that. That game, I would sit down, I sat down and just played till I beat it the very first time. Uh, I had the time, I had, you know, the, the resources to do that because I was a kid, snow day, that kind of thing. So, yes, I recommend that you play this, and it is a great choice by Nintendo on the Super NES Classic Edition. And I sound like a broken record with that, with the majority of these games, but it's the truth. It really is. And my only gripe is they should have added a few more games. They should have had 25 instead of 21. But still, it's a really good set. Well, guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to let you enjoy this footage. I don't have too much more to say. You're going to see me clear this stage, and that's, that's going to be it for the footage. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. Subscribe if you have not already. That's going to put you in the running for a Super NES Classic Edition on my channel, a giveaway that I'm doing. Enjoy this footage, guys, and have a great rest of your day.